Hello there YouTube. Today what I'm going to show you is a General Electric uh, Dynamotor. This is the unit. It's a rather large one as you can see. This is all the electronics in the top. I have the cover right here. It's got a spare fuse that's one amp for the output high voltage. An elementary grease for the bearings and it comes with fuse links different kinds that are all used up in here. Here's the tag. I don't know how well you can see that right now. i got to make this video somewhat quick. It won't be running in this video at high speed. I mean, it will be running at high speed, but not full, you know, blow 5,000 RPMs like it's supposed to run. Just because I'm running a simple 12-volt bridge rectifier setup to, you know, test it. But this thing, as it is, spins at about 2,000 RPMs and it runs on 28 volts at 13 amps and it's, this is the generator side right here as you can see it has, it has big commutators on there that's a big commutator roll and then if we take off this side this is the motor side which has you know regular motors so what this does is this motor spins this generator and it's basically like a rotary transformer instead of one of those <laughs> So, I just took apart a um, speaker system to get the stuff out of there. So, anyways, further ado, I'll fire it up here in a second after I show you a few more things on it. And then on this cover right here for the top, it says danger high voltage user, you know, don't off or repair while running. But anyways, here we go. Excuse the camera dancing for a moment. Here we go. There it is running. Nice and smooth, I tore it apart. It has, it's an unused unit, by the way. It came from the military, somehow unused. Um, new old stock. It's got, or when I got it, it had some bearing noise just because the grease had dried up in them. It has open ball bearings. So I used carbon choke cleaner, got all that out of there, re-greased it. Put a tiny bit of oil in them too, just to make that grease a little bit more you know, thinner. But anyways, we'll talk about all this stuff up here. This is basically a solenoid. Um, as you can see, I have it bypassed. It's actually called a contactor. What this does is it allows you to turn a little switch that's low amperage to start this machine. It's basically just a giant relay. Here you have the main fuse. This is what's running the motor, which is also bypassed right now. This is 60 amp fuse, which is way overkill for, you know, this amperage. And there's a little 1 amp fuse. If you touch either of these right here, you will get shocked the hell out of because it's putting out very high voltage at the moment. Uh, as long as I touch right here, I should be fine. So let's rotate the fuse. As you can see, it says U.S. Army right there. Put all the original parts in here. This is just a spare fuse holder. Nothing's connected. And then this is the output. That center one right there is positive. All these around it are negative, which I think is funny. This is the high voltage end. If you stick your finger in there, you get shocked. This is the voltage input leads. I just shoved them through here. They're actually supposed to be up inside here. All the wires are cloth except for the input leads because I had to put them on. And then this is your contactor switch. So basically just, you know, from there to there gets you to start the machine off of a low amperage switch. So, there it is. Going turned off. We'll go ahead and do one more fire up. This armature in here, I took it all apart. It's huge. Very heavy armature. Very well built as well. 
And I'm getting a ton more of electric motors and stuff, you know, to play around with like this. Very old ones too, because I found a uh, junk store that sells them for very cheap. So, here we go. There you have it. Bridge rectifier's nice and hot and toasty. This thing's nice and warm. So, there you have it folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a very unique piece of equipment. Certainly outdated, you know, by these. Old technology right here. This is what you would have used instead of this. This one came out of a military aircraft to run radios and vacuum tube equipment. Which, got a lot of vacuum tube stuff with it too. Some oddball tubes like that. All sorts of stuff. I even got a weird one right here. Where is it? Here we go. It only has four prongs. 